here we have a Dell Inspiron 14 3000 series. The one I'm using currently right now is 3451. We're going to open up and explore the insides. Please put your laptop on something soft so you don't damage it or scratch it when you move it around. And flip to the back. So now we flip to the back. We need to remove your battery if you haven't removed it. Next, we're going to remove the back cover or the back plate. There's two screws holding it down. There's this gap here, you put your finger in it and you lift it up. So here's the RAM. So you push the two sides and the RAM pops up. There's only one RAM slot and it uses DDR3L RAM as it says here, only DDR3L. I don't have a hard drive, so your hard drive actually goes here. There's a cable here that attaches to your hard drive, and there's four screws you need to remove before you remove your hard drive. So next, we're going to remove the back cover, and to do that, we need to remove all the screws on the back. All the screws on the back are basically the same. I forgot to remove the wireless card, so there's one screw holding the wireless card down and remember to remove your antenna cables before you do it. Now we removed all the screws, we need to flip it open to remove the keyboard. So there's gaps on top where you can shove your prying tool in. To remove the clip,
Remember not to rip out your keyboard as there's some um, cables underneath. So you need detach your keyboard cable. So there's a few screws holding the cover now, which we need to remove. We need to remove the cables too. So one's the power cable, and the other one is your touchpad cable. There's five screws holding it down. After you remove all the screws, you're going to need your prying tool. Just to show you that this is a bit weird, you need to pry it from the bottom. It's like a plastic box lid, it covers, it doesn't just cover the side, you have to go down as well. It covers more than, it covers more than just the box, or the top, more correctly. I'm just going to move. I just need to move it away and it's easier to pry open. Remember to remove your speaker cable. And remember to route your wireless antenna through. So to remove the motherboard, we need to remove the cables. That's the daughter board cable. This cable here is the LCD cable. LCD cable is a bit tricky, so be careful. And also remove the power cable, which was the last cable I removed. And there's one screw holding the motherboard down. So here's our motherboard. There's four screws holding the CPU heatsink down, which I'm not going to remove. And that's about it. Thanks for watching. This, this, is, this assembly is relatively pointless. Uh, besides from removing the back cover, which gives you access to everything, continuing gives you access to nothing. As a CPU, is soldered down and there's nothing else you can change by removing your going further than the back cover but that's basically it and thanks for watching